what is up guys ct kidney here and today boys i literally just put out my last video about how this blue post right here was gonna screw over evokers for 10.1 and i'm not even kidding maybe three four hours later we got another blue post on the 10.1 changes the ptr updated which is what prompted me to come here and man we got another we got another blue post uh about evokers about devastation so let's check it out Developers notes, thanks to the invaluable feedback from all of you, you're welcome Blizzard, we've made further changes to Devastation's talents, the bottom section of the tree has been significantly rearranged, and has two fewer point nodes, causality has been iterated on, maintaining the goal of rewarding fully channeled disintegrates, but addressing the concerns with how the design would interact with haste. Oh man, that's so awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Precisely what everybody wanted to hear. Finally, some underused talents gotten uh have gotten partial or full reworks to introduce new builds and playstyle options. I'm not mad at new options, man. I mean that's that sounds pretty great. Let's check out what they have for us. Causality has been redesigned. Uh let's check out causality. So causality has been redesigned. Disintegrate reduces the remaining cooldown of your empower spells by 0.5 seconds each time it deals damage. Pyre reduces their cooldown by 0.4 seconds per enemy struck up to two seconds. Causality is no longer a choice talent. Oh my man. That is awesome. That is so nice to hear. This is literally what myself and literally every other evoker player was saying just make it reduce with the ticks instead of cast time instead of channel time so if you're unaware as to why the previous iteration was not good um it scaled negatively with haste and the reason it did that is because it's reduced the amount of time it would take for our empowered spells to cool down by 100 percent while disintegrate was channeling so the more haste you have the less channel time you have on disintegrate meaning the less cooldown reduction we'd get for our empower spells. This fixes that completely because the more haste, the faster the ticks comes out. So that means we get to scale even better with haste than before, honestly, I think. Maybe even about the same. So this fixes that issue completely, and that's awesome. Um, we might even now be able to get our increased dragon rage time uh out of that i'll have to i'll have to go and test that i'm definitely going to be doing some testing after this to figure out what we can do uh next up is font of magic now also causes your empower spells to reach maximum level in 20 percent less time so font of magic gives us the extra level on our empower spells and now causes them to reach maximum level in 20 percent less time this is really good this is basically just 20 percent haste for our empower spells it does make me wonder if they're going to redesign the redesigned imminent destruction the one that would make our empower spells can uh, channel faster or cast faster after we used uh deep breath because that's basically what that talent did and they've just it seems like they've just put that on the font of magic so i'm wondering if that's still there next up ever burning flames is no longer a choice node with feed the flames so i'm they're just going to split them into two different talents okay that's fine Feed the Flames has been redesigned. After casting 12 pyres, your next pyre will explode into a firestorm. Does not trigger from volatility bounces. Um, that's interesting. I mean, 12 pyres is a lot of pyres. That's two full essence bars of pyres. Eh, I mean, honestly, I don't know if that'll be good. I'm kind of wondering myself if that's going to be good because... If you take Raging Inferno, which increases the damage of Pyres inside of your Firestorm, and then you t you cast 12 Pyres, you're not going to have any Pyres left, or if you do, you won't have that many Pyres left for a Firestorm. I am wondering, however, if that will stack with your actual Firestorm. So, like, if you take Firestorm, and you take Raging Inferno, and then you're, say, you're on your 11th cast of Pyre right if you throw down that raging inferno or that uh that firestorm with the raging inferno and then you use your 12th pyre if having both of those firestorms up will increase the damage of pyre even more than just having one i'm wondering if they'll stack so well, i'm gonna have to go and test that out but if that does then that could lead to some crazy good aoe burst if not 
then this talent seems kind of odd. Um, but we'll see. Imminent Destruction has been redesigned again. Yep. Deep Breath reduces the essence cost of Disintegrate and Pyre by 1 for 10 seconds after you land. Now a 1 rank talent. So no longer a 2 rank talent. It's now a 1 rank talent, which means... Um, we don't really get an extra, we don't really get an extra talent point because nobody was really taking imminent destruction before. We might now. I could definitely see it being taken for AoE. It would probably pair really well with, um, the new Feed the Flames. More Pyres, more Firestorms. Um, but the Disintegrate line is very interesting, um, right here. Because if it reduces the cost of Disintegrate by one and you take Font of Magic, that means you get six Essence meaning you can cast three disintegrates in this window. Uh, and that's going to be really cool, because if you can cast more disintegrates within the window, remember with the redesigned uh, causality, every tick of disintegrate reduces the cooldown on your empower spells. So that means that more disintegrates is more disintegrate ticks is less cooldown on your empower spells. So it's looking more and more likely that we might actually get back our super long dragon rages uh dragon rage extensions i'm i'm looking forward to testing it out man i really hope so uh lay waste is now a one rank talent was two ranks and the damage bonus is increased to 20 percent was 15 percent this is fine i mean the one rank makes it way easier to pick up and 20 percent is okay i just it's i don't think it's enough to make lay waste super great um who knows if we don't have any other single target options we might take it but i don't think that this buff alone is enough to make it worth taking it's it's good i just don't think it's enough well at least not on like council fight or not on single target fights or uh fights that aren't council or, you know, maybe heavy ad fights, something like that, with like a every with ads that come out like every two minutes. It, it'd be very niche still. All right, uh, lay waste. The change is fine. Burnout is now a one rank talent, was two ranks, and the chance to trigger is now sixteen percent the former rank two value. So they've just flat out removed one rank from burnout, and now you get the full effect of burnout that we have now, the sixteen percent proc chance with only one talent point. So that gives us an extra talent point because we were always taking burnout no matter what. Uh, so yeah, we just have an extra talent point to play with now. That's super fun. Scintillation is now a rank one talent. Was two ranks and the damage effectiveness is 60%. The oh, it's the same change. And the effectiveness is 60%, the former rank two value. Okay, so now we get two extra talent points to play with. Wow, that's... Pretty cool. We just get two extra talent points to play with in our in our build now. Awesome. That's a great way to free up some points. Uh, Power Swell is now a rank one talent. There's now a one rank talent. Uh, was two ranks. The duration is four seconds. The former ranked. Okay, the same thing that we did with those. The only difference being we don't really take Power Swell. Um, we might. I mean, I could see some uses for it now. Uh, since we want to throw more disintegrates. Um maybe it'll be good i mean i don't know it, it it doesn't sound horrible but it depends on what it's um what it's competing with i'm gonna have to take a look at the talent tree uh take a look at the talent tree later and see what's up with that but um okay i mean decent change it's, it's now much more accessible because it's only one rank so that's fine new talent event horizon eternity surges cooldown is reduced by three seconds choice talent with eye of infinity Ooh. Ooh, that's nice, actually. If Eternity Surge's cooldown is reduced by three seconds, just a flat three seconds, that that's actually really good, because we might be able to... Yeah, like, it's looking more and more likely the more I read this that we're going to get those longer Dragon Rages again, and that's so nice to see. Um, Choice Talent with Eye of Infinity. Okay, so let's check out Eye of Infinity. Has been redesigned again. Okay. Eternity Surge deals 15% increased damage to your primary target. Oh. Oh, that'll be really good with Scintillation. So yeah, this is probably going to be your single target option. And then Event Horizon. Um, We might have to take Event Horizon, though, just to get the longer Dragon Rage. I'm not sure. But I think I have Eternity. This is going to help out our single target a lot because of Scintillation. Hmm. 
That's actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, I like that. Uh, next up, Arcane Vigor has been redesigned. Um, Shadow Star now grants an Essence Burst. Cool. That's actually, that's pretty nice. I mean, that might, that might make it better. Um, I think we're still going to take the additional two seconds on Shattering Star. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's nice to know we have an option to just get a free Essence Burst on demand. That's, that's pretty cool. Like I said, we'll probably still take the, uh, the two second longer Shattering Star. Snapfire's chance to trigger Firestorm increased to 15% was 12. Eh. I mean, that's a small, small, small buff. Raging Inferno's Firestorm Radius bonus reduced to 25% was 50. Um, I kind of agree with that. Yeah, it was, it was pretty big. It was pretty giant. And Pyre Damage bonus reduced to 20% was 25. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't really care about damage numbers because those, those can be changed. I more care about like how the spec is going to play. And so far, I don't know how it's going to help out our APM, like our actions per minute. Because it seems like now channeling, full channeling Disintegrate is the way to go because it works well with ticks, which is fine. It's way better than the previous version. Don't get me wrong. Um, I, I'm liking this, actually. I'm liking these changes a good amount. It's going to depend on where everything is in the talent tree. But uh, I think over the previous iteration, that was, that was this, this monstrosity right here. Um, this, is, this is an absolutely much better... Um, much better go at it, and I, I got I got to give Blizzard props. You know they really listened, um, especially with the causality thing. They really really listened to us. We were I was I like I was saying in the last video, man. It's like is doom and gloom. Our spec is screwed, but you know now we're literally three hours later, and Blizzard has decided. You know what? Let's go ahead and address that. I just wish they would have told us sooner <laughs> that they had something planned because we had total radio silence, like no communication whatsoever. I will, like we were literally left to believe that this is what we were gonna get up here, and I w I was not looking forward to it, and I know a lot of other evokers weren't looking forward to it, but this this seems much better. This seems way 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 better, and I can't wait to test these out, and I'll show y'all what that looks like next time. I'll see you then.